12 News is your local election headquarters. We are just six days away from the election, and in the lead up, there's been some anxiety surrounding election safety, especially after ballot boxes in Washington and Oregon were set ablaze on Monday. Here locally, Jake Holter spoke with some officials in Rhode Island and Massachusetts about how they're working to keep the election safe and secure. Jake? Yeah, Mike and Shannon, officials we spoke with today explaining to us the lengths they've gone to to protect votes and people alike in this election. Even though we're six days away, we've been preparing for this election for over a year. Rhode Island Secretary of State Greg Amore telling 12 News just how the state has prepared to have safe and secure elections. Rhode Island has a law in place that requires a security review, both a physical and cybersecurity review of all our elections processes. So that has been completed. He also says his office received $280,000 in federal funds to improve election security for the local cities and towns. Some decided to do uh, uh, enhanced security camera situation. Some decided to secure their offices. Some decided to, to do protection uh, equipment, depending on what they needed. Some, some cities and towns don't need that type of protection because they have secured areas already. Over in Massachusetts, New Bedford Mayor John Mitchell hosted a first ever pre-election day press conference to talk about election security. He says the city has made numerous investments to ensure a safe and secure election. We bought a great deal uh, more new equipment. These are vote tabulation machines, new software. Police Chief Paul Oliveira says the police presence on Election Day will be more significant than it has been in years past with an officer at every polling location. This is really just to be uh, precautionary to ensure the uh, citizens here in Bedford that uh, they can go to the polls and uh, feel safe and secure. Oliveira says he's been assured by the area FBI director that there are currently no threats to election proceedings in New Bedford. And as a reminder, early voting in Massachusetts is open through November 1st. Here in Rhode Island, early voting is open all the way up to Election Day. Live in studio, Jake Holter, 12 News. Jake, thank you. Don't forget to check out our voter guide. Scan the QR code or type in WPRI.com slash vote in your browser. We've got links to find early voting locations, look at a sample ballot, and see where the candidates stand in the big local races.